Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of Baruto, Chapter 68. Okay, um, also check out the Dragon Ball Super reaction that should be up already at this point. But, um, yeah. The, uh, last chapter left, uh, code to, you know, retreat. Um, Baruto is back. Um... And then a Momosuke cannot uh, revive because of the data that was taken. So let's see where things lead now. The title is Scar. Yeah, you probably got that permanent, you know, look about you now. Good color cover, though. You're saying you were resurrected using karma? Oh, it is kind of retreating. Hmm. Uh, that's what Mama Shiki said. I can't or I can't blame you for not believing me. Apparently, about 82%, I need to zoom in a little more, of Mama Shiki's data had already finished extracting, but he used the remaining 18% to rebuild the destroyed parts of my body. Goodness, well, since they're able to digitize components of their own flesh, I suppose converting that data into another person's components isn't much of a stretch, no matter how mind-blowing that possibility sounds. If Baruto died, Momoshiki would lose his vessel and his soul would be extinguished. Even an Osasuki can't take, make an omelette out of breaking eggs, huh? Or without breaking eggs. So Momoshiki sacrificed part of himself to save Baruto and escape destruction. Yet while his soul is still intact, it means Momoshiki lacks the data needed to construct his body, right? Y yes, in fact, since he'll never regain that data, he'll never be able to resurrect again, right? Hey, but I imagine he'll still have some level of control over Baruto. So it seems, a silver lining you could say. However, the problem of him taking over Baruto's consciousness from him time to time still remains. That's exactly what I just said. We still don't have an outright solution for that. But the meds have more effect, or have been more effective than expected. Why don't you two work on that together? <laughs> as long as he keeps taking them, we should be able to suppress Momoshiki's domination long term. Nope, I don't need them anymore. Huh? How to put it, I feel like something's changed from before. It's hard to describe, but I have this feeling I can channel his power better now. This is almost like when I took Ridlin as a child. I eventually didn't, I didn't like how people kind of viewed me. I was very, like, zombie-like. And other kids didn't like me. Well, by the time I, I started taking that in first grade. And then by sixth grade, I had already stopped taking it to the point where the teachers didn't even know. They knew when I transferred from one school and I was in resource classes and stuff because, you know, my ADD had really affected my learning because I was so easily distracted. Um, they knew coming in, or me coming into sixth grade and middle school that I took Ridland. Well, let's just say Mrs. Cook did not think realize at all that I had not been taking those pills for probably the better part of, I don't even know, a year? She was like, oh my god. <laughs> I've learned to control it. Um, he's conscious from expending a lot of chakra. Okay, so now we're with um, Kawaki. His life isn't in any danger, but obvious uh, external injuries either. He's almost fully self-healed thanks to the nanomachines in his blood. Now they're nanomachines? But it'd be best to check him out in depth at the lab. Hmm. Why did you ask for me rather than Mr. Amato? I need to confirm a few things with that bastard first. Until then, we can't let him near Kawaki. So long as there are no health issues, he stays here. Oh, and we even have a beaky. Okay. Uh, you're really planning to leave him unbound when he possesses so much power? The thing is, we can't restrain him even if we wanted to. He could just shrink himself with, uh, Sukuna, uh, Hikona and get free. 
and he can absorb any ceiling jutsu using karma. It's no simple thing to physically restrain him right now. Well, you could just seal him in a box. <laughs> I mean, if he's small, as long as it's a perfect thing, I mean, and how small could he really get? If you make it into an airtight thing, you probably can't do anything. I mean, breathing apparatuses might be an issue then, but otherwise, I mean, it's a fairly simple thing, but it still has its flaws, I guess. Conversely, it'd be uh, real bad if we ended up antagonizing him. Fortunately, his wish is simple. As long as Naruto is safe, he'll have no beef with us. All we can do is have faith. Trust him and make sure he stays on our side. That's if uh, we want to stick to peaceful solutions, of course. <laughs> Good. That's how Konoha Village does things. So you're okay with it, Naruto? Yeah, we'll have a nice long talk when he wakes up. Okay. Um, did something happen with Lord Seventh? What do you mean? I hope it's just my imagination, but he seems to be brooding over something. He just got back this morning after narrowing escaping death. He's exhausted. You're right. Please forgive me. The fact that she can read this is rather interesting. I have intel. It concerns Code's whereabouts. Okay, Sasuke been doing that detective shit. Let's see. One of Boros's uh, cult facilities? I thought we'd hit them all. There's a uh, hidden structure on the edge of the Land of Snow, in an area considered taboo even by locals. It's apparently a secret facility only a few of the cult's top brass even know about. It seems they engaged in inhuman rituals, human experimentation, and unknown to karma, or Kara, even scientific ninja tools, H or R and D. Of particular interest, it is. That I was also a or it was also a facility, see, a facility for disposing cyborgs that Jigen had ordered to be scrapped. I see. Sounds sufficiently sketchy. Hmm. Any uh, conclusive evidence that Code is there? Nothing definitive, but there is an acquaintance of Code's there, a man named Bug. Got it. All right. I'll order a deployment, since we have no other leads. I heard about what Kawaki did. Is it true? Yeah, he killed Baruto. Even if it was to stop Momoshiki, he did it right in front of me and Naruto. Thankfully, Baruto turned out to be okay, but... Yeah, but Sasuke ain't liking this shit. The only other ones who know about it are Ino, Sai, Amato... And Katasuki. We're still deciding how to move forward. Where's Baruto? He should be with his friends, including Sarada. Go see them. Okay, now back at the facility. I see. So that's what happened. Be thankful, Code. Your precious tin tail sacrifice, Baruto, is still alive. He was revived using Momoshiki's karma. Hmm. Revived? Are you serious? Hey, Code, maybe you like a zombie. Moreover, along the way, it seems the rest of the karma suppressed data was extracted, meaning that Baruto is fully Ososuke now. Somehow they shared an exchange that I can't see directly with my Shinringan clairvoyance. I wonder if he's able to... I wonder if he was able to communicate with Momoshiki on some sort of spiritual plane. The fact that you even know that enough, or that much, is rather baffling. Unforeseen would be an understatement, but I'll take that piece of good fortune. I guess it was meant to be. You're lucky that uh, Baruto is alive. I'm honestly fed up with the multiple grandstanding acts you displayed. You took it too far, especially using my little brother without my permission. 
I didn't really have any other option, did I? Listen, your job is to bring Kawaki to me. And in return, I'll help you regain your power to aid your own goals, since you're useless to me the way you are right now. However, if I determine that even after you regain your strength, you're still useless, incompetent, or simply just a hindrance, we siblings have absolutely no qualms about disposing of you. Consider yourself warned. Oh, and he's, he's like, yep, I'm with sis on this. You mean you're not even comrades? Or we're not even comrades? How sad. That's business for you. If you don't produce results, you'll lose even this sad relationship. Hmm. Did I not mention that I already took measures? Hmm. Yeah, it's on the kid's hand. Or is that Code's hand? Oh, I think that is Code. Yeah, that's Code's hand. Hmm. All that's left is... Oh, it's on frickin' Shikamaru. I forgot about that. And you've got an ear. Hmm. The timing. Uh-oh. So now you know the sound of that code. <laughs> hmm. Well... What's the lowdown on Baruto? Why doesn't he feel this on his neck? It sounds far-fetched at first, but the proof is in the pudding. The blood analysis aligns with his explanation. Hey, Mamashiki, can we definitely say he can't resurrect anymore? Yeah, it is 100% impossible. Good, that's great, actually, by the way. Oh, we don't need your ass anymore, I guess. Hey, what the... You know what I want to ask, that's right, about Kawaki's karma. It really doesn't hurt her anything? At all? Hey, well, watch your hands. Oh, she wants to touch that Baruto booby peck, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> well, it was pretty close call, but as you can see, I'm fine, though that bastard coat got away. Question... Why'd Code try to kill you when he wanted to feed you alive to Ten Tails? Er, uh, you see, that was... Listen up, Baruto, don't tell anyone yet that Kawaki killed you. Not until we decide what Konoha's policy towards him will be. If he couldn't control himself, it didn't seem like he thinks too far ahead. Either way, you're becoming fully Osuki. Osasuki, right? Are you going to be all out targeted now? Yeah, probably. I don't know where he's hiding, but I won't let him escape next time. That's not what I meant. I'm saying you need to be extra careful. What, what if you're attacked when you're by yourself? Sarah does right. Okay, so here comes Sasuke. He can appear unexpectedly. Don't go anywhere alone, even within the village, though I'm one to talk. Old man Sasuke, dad. And the one kid's just like, eh. Ah, <laughs> uh, Musuki. Um, and not just Baruto. Now that Kawaki has enough power to challenge Code, Code will likely stop at nothing to get the limiters on his power removed, which likely makes his first target Old Man Amato. Yeah. And now we've got uh, Sas or not Sasuke, Shikamaru interrogating him. Code's gonna start learning all this shit. You restored Kawaki's karma, implanted it on your own without its consent, or on your own without his consent, no less. Why? It's simple. He fundamentally loathes karma. I probably wouldn't get his consent, and yet. He desired power, enough to protect Lord Hokage and chase off enemies. Either way, in order for the karma to be manifest or re-manifest, his intent has was absolutely essential. In short, Kawagi himself chose this path. This is the result he wished for. What if he didn't have it when he needed it? That's why I implanted it ahead of time. Wasn't the reason why you were able to survive this latest crisis because he had 
because you had Kawaki's karma? Am I wrong? Don't dodge the question at hand. Setting aside the result, what did you, or what you did was not for Konoha or Kawaki's benefit. If you ask me, you seem obsessed with Kawaki's karma itself. Why? Because it's unique. Uh-oh, here comes code. What? Sorry to interrupt. I didn't want to waste this prime opportunity. Code? You fool. The conversation was just getting interesting. <laughs> well, Shikamaru ain't gonna be able to fight this dude. And Amato doesn't stand a fucking ghost of a chance. Shikamaru. It's been a while, Amato. You ought to worry about your own welfare. Yeah, you got him in a chokehold now. Hmm. Now, rescind the limiters on my power. You don't want to get hurt, do you? I can't believe you just showed up here. You'll be sensed right away, and an army of shinobi will be here soon. But I know that all of you need to do is look in my eyes and say the command. It only takes seconds, right? God, how do you know? Hmm, interesting. This chakra, so Eno's picking up. Don't tell me it's code in Amato's lab. Shikamaru. Gah. Yeah, he's here. Right in front of me. Damn it. We'll send reinforcements. No, hold on, Eno. Just inform Naruto and the others. Don't send anyone else here. Yet. Huh? He showed up because it's just you. Or just us. I don't want to provoke him into running off. Let me handle it. But just keep monitoring him. Got it? Wait for my signal. Shikamaru. Shadow Possession Jutsu. Okay. We'll see how well that works. It's useless. I can still move my fingertips enough to smash his, uh, quarter, or karate open. I don't know. It's a freaking artery in the freaking neck. Hey, Amato, you know my personality, right? I'd hurry up if I were you. Eh, you thought I wouldn't notice the claw mark on the back of my neck. Well, I mean, it seemed kind of obvious you didn't, but okay. But it made sense that you would. Hmm. That I'd fall for such a transparent trap. What? Oh. Oh, the thing in the room, the coffin thing. It's showtime. Wake up, Bronco. Bronco? Oh, it's Delta. Shit. She's got a new symbol on her forehead. Delta? She's a new model, repro or reprogrammed to be a battle asset that protects Konoha. Delta, your target is Code. He's an enemy of Konoha. I know, I know. Shut up already. Don't keep screeching like a darn fool. All right. Well, she just impaled him on the wall. Ugh. Damn it. I guess if I approached Amato with few to no guard, you might show up, Code. It'd be too good. If an opportunity for an idiot like you to pass up. I'll spare you my one-hit destructive beams, since they'll wreak too much havoc in this enclosed space. Hmm. Uh-oh. He's forming them claws. His right hand went in the claw mark. Bastard, I won't let you escape. Okay, so, wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's her. Huh? Escape? Quite the opposite. Oh, we're introducing... Edna. Or Ida, or however it's pronounced, I don't even know. Let's see here. Gah, a comrade of codes? I Ida? Okay. To be honest... That was unexpected. Um, the whole thing of like Shikamaru not not noticing that freaking mark on his neck, be it from touch or from sight. I mean, like you know, you you scratch the back of your neck a few times a day on the average person. So it's kind of weird that he wouldn't have noticed that. Also, would have probably seen it, felt it. You know, it's like if something's on my neck like that, definitely gonna feel it. Um, now, the whole activation of Code's limiters is just saying something, like, I command you to unlock, I guess, and having eye contact, 
that's kind of weak security right there because what if you mind control the dude and just have his head or something like that it's like you, you could have just unlocked all this time but uh hmm. also uh keeping Kawaki separate and everything I mean it I hate that that has to happen but it is kind of a necessity given the situation so we'll see how that develops um, now as for uh, Baruto just kind of sharing with his teammates you know his I mean I guess it probably would have been revealed at some point but still maybe not show that to everybody you know um, also the um, like uh, Katasuki's like explanation of like how the data gets compressed and biologically transferred and everything is like he's just so amazed by that I love that um, but yeah now we know that Delta has been reprogrammed and has become a asset to Konoha this is kind of cool actually so we'll we'll definitely see what she is capable of in their hands and uh, yeah, I think that's about all I have to really say on this one. Also, the whole thing of like Ida and her brother, like they'll just like off code if they need to, should he not be useful enough, is an interesting plot twist. But I mean, it was kind of being, you know, she wanted Kawaki, you know, as a, I guess, a lover and also a more powerful person because, you know, he's now stronger than code is anyway and that's why she probably said like if you don't become any stronger than you are now then yeah you we won't need you <laughs> so yeah but anyway i think that's about all i have to really say about the chapter anything i missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content see what you like suggest things for the future uh check out dragon ball super as i said uh earlier it should already be up or did I not say that in this chapter I, or this video? I don't know. But anyway, so stay tuned for that if it's not already up. Uh, links down below for all, all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live by the One Punch Man, One Punch Man Podcast. I'm saying this stuff too fast. Uh, One Punch Man Podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always... Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings, later days, and the hell is Ida going to do? She's not known as a combatant. This is going to get weird.